Welcome to Inspiring International School. Today we study subtopic 2.1, species and populations. And this is the first part of the topic number two, ecosystems and ecology. Here you can see significant ideas of this subtopic. First, a species interacts with its abiotic and biotic environment, and its niche is described by these interactions. And let's go further. And here you can see an ecosystem, and um, also you can see some biotic and abiotic factors. All living organisms and their interactions with each other is biotic factors. So biotic factors are factors of living organisms or living part of uh, our nature, our world. And you can see some abiotic factors. This is everything that is connected with weather, climate, uh, pressure, um, rain, water, some minerals. So everything that is not living. Let's discuss another significant idea. Populations change and respond to interactions with the environment. So we can say that environment influence area living organisms and the whole community or the whole ecosystem. Members of ecosystem or members of community interact and they change and they evolve because of changes of environment. And the last one, all systems have a caring capacity for a given species. So caring capacity is the maximum number of a species or load that can be sustainably supported by a given area. So in every ecosystem, members of this ecosystem cannot reproduce infinitely because there are a lot of limit factors that do not allow them to do it. This is biotic or abiotic factors. These are interactions with other organisms, competition, maybe some pathogens, some parasites or something else. Also, you can see here in this picture that every living organism has its own place in the ecosystem. Fish live in water or birds fly or maybe some corals they lay on the bottom of this water body and uh, trees just grow. We can say that every living organism has its own niche. A niche describes the particular set of abiotic and biotic conditions and resources to which an organism or a population responds. So this is we can say that this is the place of this certain organism in an ecosystem or community. And there are two types of niche. Fundamental niche describes the full range of conditions and resources in which a species could survive and reproduce. So this is the full range. It means this is um, possible um, conditions, possible conditions, but every living organism lives in its realized niche. Realized niche describes the actual conditions and resources in which a species exists due to biotic interactions. It means that there are a lot of limiting factors and some organisms or maybe some species just cannot survive in these conditions. That is why they have realized niche or they can just extinct in these conditions because they are too hard for these organisms. Or this organism can be just, it can, can just live in these limiting factors and can try to survive in these limiting factors. Also, you can see here, uh, definitions of abiotic and biotic factors. Let's discuss differences between the terms a species or population. A species, it is a group of organisms 
or living things or human beings, for example, sharing common characteristics that interbreed and produce fertile offspring. And a population, it is a group of organisms of the same species living in the same area at the same time and which are capable of interbreeding. It means that a species, the term species, is wider than the term population, because different populations of one species form a species. So a species as a group of organisms is separated into some smaller groups, a population, um, and within this population, representatives of this uh, population and the species interbreed and they produce fertile offspring. And we can say that a population is a unit of evolution because uh, species can be spread uh, on some area. That is why some um, members of the species just cannot meet each other in this uh, huge area of the species in this habitat. That is why they cannot produce fertile offspring. And we can say that a population is a unit of evolution. And in the future, over time, the, this population uh, will form new species. And uh, also over time, every population may form new species. And this is the core, this is the base of evolution. Also, there is one more term here is habitat. As you can see, we, we, we can see that fish are in the water. And uh, as we said, birds uh, in the atmosphere and uh, mm, other organisms um, live in their habitat. Habitat is the environment in which a species normally lives. So this is just one of the characteristics of this species. And uh, there are uh, some factors of uh, population size. We said that there are a lot of limiting factors and they can be different in every population, every species, every habitat. Of course, it depends on climate, on uh, abiotic factors. And there are more factors uh, which influence uh, population size. Natality, this is birth rate, mortality, death rate, uh, and migration. And migration can be immigration and immigration uh, moving into the area and move, moving out of the area. We know that some um, members of uh, the community of a population can migrate to other areas or they can come back to this area. So it depends on this population and uh, it depends on the habitat. So th there are a lot of factors. Thank you for the lesson. See you soon. Subscribe. Bye.